Hello YouTube, this is Mathematics on the Subject of Pascal's Wager by Rule of Logic. Pascal's Wager is an argument according to which belief in God is rational whether or not God exists. Since falsely believing that God exists leads to no harm, whereas falsely believing that God does not exist may lead to eternal damnation. This can be easily represented in a decision matrix, which I have supplied. In the decision matrix, you have the two options, belief and disbelief. You have the two other options, God exists or God does not exist. And you have the, all the possible outcomes. You can see there, if God exists and you do not believe, you have loss. If God exists and you do believe, you have gain. If God does not exist and you have disbelief, you get nothing. And the same is true for if you believe and he does not exist. The probability for being correct within Pascal's wager can be described in a probability equation, P equals 1 over N, where N is the number of possibilities. This is what Blaise Pascal set out. Pascal used 2 as N under the assumption that there are only two possibilities, Christianity and atheism. This value for N gives each of the choices a 50% chance of being correct from a purely statistical standpoint. This is the cornerstone of his argument. Setting n to 2, however, is a presupposition. By doing this, Pascal ignored that there are many other potential religions and that, from a statistical standpoint, each one of them has an equal chance of being correct. When it can be presumed that n equals 2, Pascal's wager is a perfect argument for the necessity of faith in God. However, when other religions are thrown into the mix, Pascal's wager rapidly degrades. If you add Islam into the mix, you get n equals 3. If you plug 3 into the probability equation, you get p e equals 1 over 3, it's 1 third, or 33%. Adding one religion has already decreased your chances of being correct in either of the previous choices by 16 and 2 thirds percent, or 16.66% as I have presented there. If you add Hinduism into the mix, you get n equals 4. If you plug 4 into the probability equation, you get P equals 1 fourth, or 25%. Adding two religions to your original two choices has cut your chances of being correct in half. Obviously, there are far more than four religions on Earth. When you take into account that in addition to all of the other confirmed religions on Earth, the existence of an arbitrarily large number of hypothetical gods is statistically as probable as the existence of any other god from any other religion. N quickly approaches infinity. When we plug infinity into the probability equation, we get P equals 1 over infinity, or 0%. You know, if you split any number an infinite number of times, you're getting 0. Using N equals infinity causes your chances of being correct to go to 0%. This holds irregardless of what faith or lack of faith you choose. So, Pascal's wager, with the correct value of n, proves that no matter which religion, or lack thereof, you choose, you are incorrect. When you take into account that most religions have some concept of a hell, and send everyone who isn't a member of said religion to hell, it is proven that no matter what choice you make, you are probably headed to some other religion's hell. Thank you. This, this has been a mathematical proof by rule of logic. I look forward to seeing your comments.